Alrighty, we are with our homework review for 6-7 and 6-9. I have the problems from 6-7 up here first. This first column, we are changing these numbers from mixed numbers into improper fractions. So to do that, we're taking our denominator times our whole number and then adding our numerator. That becomes our new numerator. Our denominator remains the same. So here we would do 8 times 1 is 8 plus 3 more is 11 eighths. Then we have 7 times 5 is 35 plus 2 more is 37 sevenths. 3 times 11 is 33 plus 1 more is 34 thirds. 12 times 7 would be, let's see. 84 plus 2 more would be 86 sevenths. 8 times 9 is 72 plus 2 more would be 74 ninths. 17 or 19 times 7 would be 133. Plus five more is 138. So that's all of our your mixed numbers into improper. And then you had a few where you were changing the improper fraction into a mixed number. To do that, we need to think about um, how many times does eight go into 11? And how many times does your denominator go into your numerator? 8 goes into 11 one time with a remainder of 3. And here our denominator stays the same as well. So we'd have 1 and 3 eighths. With number 36, 8 goes into 48 six times. We have no remainder, so we just have a whole number there. With 39, uh, 6 goes into 40 four seven times and this actually brings up an interesting point here so the six and seven is 42 we had 44 minus 42 would be two six and oddly enough this did not come up until here in any of the examples that we did when you are changing an improper fraction into a mixed number there's one more thing you need to pay attention to, and that is, does this need simplified? So your whole number is not going to need simplified. It's just the fraction that you need to worry about. Remember that to be a simplified fraction, it means that your greatest common factor is 1. We have a greatest common factor of 2 here, which means that this fraction, 2, 6, is not simplified. We need to divide by 2, divide by 2. Your whole number is still going to remain 7. That doesn't change. But this would become 7 and 1 third. So make sure you're reducing those fractions if you need to. Um, and by that, it means is there a greatest common factor other than 1? If the answer to that is yes, you need to reduce that fraction. The next thing we're going to do here is review the 6 9 problems. We are looking for our least common multiple, and I have all our problems up here, 3 to 21 by 3. Let's start with number 3. We're always going to look at our larger number, so we think, does 2 go into 5 without a remainder? No. So we need to start coming up with multiples of 5 until we hit one that 2 does go into even one. So 5 times 2 is 10. There it is. Two goes into 10 without a remainder. So our least common multiple is 10. Next up, we have 4 and 10. So 4 does not go into 10. So we multiply 10 times 2, we get 20. 4 goes into 20. There we go. Least common multiple is 20. Here we have 10 and 12. 12 is our larger number. Uh, 10 does not go into 12, so we would multiply it times 2, 24, 
those will work times 3, 36. Those will work times 4, 40. Those will work times 5, it's 50. Uh, I just realized I moved the wrong number. Um, I think I switched there somewhere, sorry. So 12, we would have 12, 24, 36. None of those are working. 48, no. Next one does work. 60. So 60 is our least common multiple. Uh, one, six, and seven. So I'm starting with seven. The six does not go into it. One, of course, is going to go into anything. So kind of silly they include one here. Um, when we're working with seven, though, we do seven times two is 14, times three is 21, times four is 28, times five is 35, times six has to work because our other number is six. So our LCM is 42. 15, we start with 12, 6 goes into 12, but 5 does not, so we need to keep looking. Uh, 24, 6 will go into, 5 does not. 36, oh, I should have left those up here when I had them. 36, 6 goes into, uh, 5 does not. 36, 48, no. And... 60 is our least common multiple. 12 goes in it, 6 goes in it, and 5 goes in it. So our LCM equals 60. Number 18. All right, so 72 does not work. So we are going to have to multiply 72 times 2. We get 144. That does not work. So we do 72 times 3. Doesn't work. 72 times 4. Not going to work. 72 times 5. Have some hope on this one. 360. So we know 72 works because it was one of our numbers, our factors. 10 works because the one's place is a zero. So we need to figure out if 18 goes into 360, and it does. Uh, 18 times 2 is 36. So 18 times 20 would be 360. So our LCM here is 360. 3, 5, and 9. 3 goes into 9, but 5 does not. So let's see, we get 18. That does not work. Uh, I like that. 27 does not work. 36 does not work. Ooh, does 45? 45 works so when I add these up I get 9 9 is of course divisible by 9 but it's also divisible by 3 which means 45 is divisible by 3 and it's divisible by 5 because the ones digit is a 5 so our least common multiple would be 45 that's it for this homework I guess we will just make this up I will see you guys next week with our last few lessons of the year. Ah. Have a great weekend.